Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back at it with the Honda GX 340. I've got, well, so on the last video, I had the carb and it started leaking so we couldn't test it out. So since then I bought two carbs, used one for a job, well, used this one and then it didn't work. I'm, I wasn't sure why, but luckily I bought two because I needed one for this, so what I did is I just went and swapped it and then it sorted out the issue. But, I thought, this is a brand new carb, mind. Like a literally, literally brand new, like what could possibly be wrong with it? So, I've took it apart and I found two things that could potentially be the issue. The first thing is this seal, if you can see, is broke, which goes into the into the fuel into the fuel line. So maybe that that isn't sucking enough. So that was one issue. The second issue is, and this might be insurmountable to be fair, is the actual float is well the float needle gets a bit jammed in there. So that could be a potential problem if, it, if the float's not moving up and down, there's not enough fuel getting into it. But then the third thing was because of where I, where it was started up, it got very dirty very quickly. I checked the main jet, and it was it did have quite a lot of dirt in it. Now we've cleaned it all the way out again. It should work. Fingers crossed. Anyway, if not, then buy another carb. So that goes in there. Make sure this jet's this screws clean. That goes in there. That's all that I'm gonna put this seal back in. Luckily I don't have one of them as well. And that because it was on there. I don't know if you can see this, but the float actually, the float pin and the needle, it's not actually connected to it, so it can come off, which is a fucking pain in the ass. And it's really tight as well. But it does move about, so that shouldn't cause an issue. This is gonna be annoying though. It should work, but I'm not feeling super confident, I won't lie. Okay, made some slight adjustments. Because I had the wrong, the wrong throttle spring on it. Should be fine. I don't know where the actual, this isn't the right lever. It doesn't really matter, but it's just a bit annoying. Boom, boom. That's that, that's that. Oh my god. Look at the size of that moth. Jesus! Fucking hell, it's been living in there for a while. Good job it got out whilst it could. I tell you what didn't turn up, and I'm pissed off about it. Fucking air filter. So I say again, I do not advise doing this, but for the sake of actually knowing if this thing runs, I'm going to do it. I ordered it ages ago. I don't know where it is. I'm concerned. That my money has just been pissed into the wind again. Early bets. Will it work or won't it work? I'm gonna go for it will because I'm feeling a bit optimistic. So as I said, don't try this at home. Really. And some starter fluid in it. I won't lie, that's very satisfying. So all we need now is 
air filter. And I guess that the issue with that with that carb was that broken seal. So it did not work on that other engine at all. So maybe it was that. And I did change one of the jets. So I'm gonna put it down to that. But that is there you have it, I finally got back to it. Starts pretty much first time, maybe third time. Do a little bit of a clean, give her a bit of love. But yeah. If you enjoyed this video then please like and subscribe for more like this. And uh all the returning viewers and everything, bless up. Have a beautiful day. Peace.